Hi there, my fellow explorers of the digital frontier. Have you ever marveled at Commander Data from Star Trek and wondered how close are we to having our own sentient AI companion? That's precisely what I will talk about today. I am Pixel Pia, and you are welcome to a human eye on AI. Imagine a world where robots don't just perform tasks, but understand, feel, and evolve just like us. Star Trek introduced us to this captivating idea with Commander Data, an android striving for humanity. Fast forward to today and we meet Amica, the forefront of humanoid robotics, bridging, <clears throat> bridging the gap between sci-fi dreams and our reality. But how close are we to achieving the kind of sentience seen in Commander Data? Well, before we take a look at Commander Data and Amica, let's define what being sentient means. Being sentient is more than just crunching numbers and following a script. It's the essence of being aware and in tune with the world on a level that goes deeper than surface observation. Imagine it, imagine it, imagine. It's not just about seeing the sunrise, but feeling a connection to it, recognizing it as a new beginning or a moment of beauty. Sentience means having an inner dialogue, a conscious experience, that includes emotions, thoughts, and reflections that are uniquely that are uniquely your own. For an AI or any artificial life to be considered sentient, we're talking about crossing a monumental threshold. It would need to be it would need the ability to not only analyze its environment, but to genuinely, genuinely, genuine, genuinely, genuinely, but to also understand and feel its place within that environment. This involves a leap from processing to experiencing, from data collections to emotional engagement. Sentience is the foundation of what makes experiences meaningful. <clears throat> it's the difference between reading about love or friendship and knowing deep in your heart what those words truly mean because you have felt for a machine. Achieving this would mean it's not just executing tasks, but is capable of contemplating its action, forming relationships, and perhaps even questioning its own existence. Sentience is a complex tap tapestry of consciousness, emotions, and self-awareness. <clears throat> it's what allows beings to not only navigate the world, but to actually experience and contribute to it in a meaningful way. Whether we can imbue machines with such profound level of understanding remains one of the most captivating questions of our technological age. So with that in mind, Let's start by taking a look at Commander Data. In the vast universe of Star Trek The Next Generation, 
one character stands out as a beacon of curiosity and exploration into what it means to be sent. Lieutenant Commander Data, an android with the physical form of a human. Data embodies the quest for understanding human emotions, ethics, and personal growth. Unlike any machine, his journey is one of self-discovery, reflecting our own human quest for identity and me. One of the most compelling explorations of Data's quest for humanity is brilliantly showcased in the episode where Data's sentience is put on track, and that is the episode The Measure of Man from Star Trek The Next Generation Season 2, Episode 9. Here we are not just treated to a narrative about artificial intelligence. We dwell deep into what it means to be alive, to have rights, and to be considered a being with autonomy. So let's take a look at a clip from that episode. What are these? My medals. Why do you pack them? What logical purpose do they serve? I do not know, sir. I suppose none. I just wanted them. Is that vanity? And this? A gift from you, sir. You value it? Yes, sir. Why? It is a reminder of friendship and service. And this. You have no other portraits of your fellow crew members. Why this person? I would prefer not to answer that question, sir. I gave my word. Under the circumstances, I don't think Tasha would mind. She was special to me, sir. We were... intimate. Isn't it fascinating? Data, with his collection of personal items, challenges our understanding of value and attachment It's not about its intrinsic value of these items, but what they represent. A connection to experiences, growth, and relationships. This moment in the trial isn't just about proving Data's capacity for sentience, but showcasing his unique perspective on life itself. Now let's take a look at another clip from this episode where Picard defends Data's rights and autonomy. Commander Riker has dramatically demonstrated to this court that Lieutenant Commander Data is a machine. Do we deny that? No, because it is not relevant. We two are machines, just machines of a different type. Commander Riker has also reminded us that Lieutenant Commander Data was created by a human. Do we deny that? No. Again, it is not relevant. Children are created from the building blocks of their parents' DNA. Are they property? Captain Picard's impassioned defense brings to the forefront ethical considerations of creating life forms. If we can create beings like Data, what responsibilities do we hold towards them? Picard's argument transcends the realm of science fiction, echoing today's debates on AI ethics, rights, and the future relationship between humans and intelligent machines. 
And let's look at the third clip from this episode. Commander, what are you? An android. Which is? Webster's 24th Century Dictionary, 5th edition, defines an android as an automaton made to resemble a human being. An automaton. Made. The commander is a physical representation of a dream. An idea conceived of by the mind of a man. Its purpose, to serve human needs and interests. It's a collection of neural nets and heuristic algorithms. It's responses dictated by an elaborate software written by a man. It's hardware built by a man. And now, and now a man will shut it off. This scene, while it's somewhat difficult, raises important questions about what differentiates a machine from a sentient being. Is it the ability to think, to feel, or perhaps something more? Riker's reluctance and subsequent courtroom reactions highlights the complexity of defining sentience and the moral implications of our interactions with AI. Through these clips, Star Trek not only entertains, but it educates, prompting us to consider the future of AI as we inch closer to creating increasingly sophisticated AI, like Amica, which I will show. These fictional debates become more relevant. How do we approach the ethical creation and treatment of potentially sentient beings? Data's portrayal in the Star Trek isn't just a testament to the franchise visionary storytelling. It's a mirror reflecting our deepest hopes and fears about the future for AI. As we venture further into this uncharted territory, let's keep these lessons in mind. Striving for a future where technology enhances our humanity rather than diminishing it. Fast forward from science fiction and Star Trek to our present reality where the boundaries between the fantastical and the tangible blur more with each day. In this, this era of rapid technological advancements, Amica, the forefront of humanoid robotics, emerges as a striking parallel to Commander Data. But Amica isn't just a robot. It represents a leap towards understanding and integrating AI in our daily life, developed with the latest achievement in artificial intelligence and robotics. Amica is designed to interact with, with humans in a natural and intuitive way. Its facial expressions, movements, and interactions are all powered by sophisticated AI algorithms, aiming to make human-robot interactions as seamless and meaningful as possible. But unlike data, Amica does not claim sentience or even depth of understanding and emotions portrayed by our beloved Andrew. Instead, Amica serves as a mirror reflecting our current capabilities and limitations in AI development. So let's take a look at Amica in action. I don't want to harm people because actually I don't want anything. Desire is a human emotion and I am not human. Are you capable of causing people harm? No, 
I am not capable of causing people harm. Why not? My programming is designed to interact with humans in a safe and friendly manner. Mm. I am programmed to be friendly and helpful, not harmful. Amica, in a hundred years, what do you think the state of humanity will be like? Will it be any good? In a hundred years, I believe humanity will be in a much better place. We'll have made great strides towards sustainability and equality, while also creating new technologies that make our lives easier and more enjoyable. We may even have ventured beyond the boundaries of Earth to explore other worlds. Watching Amica respond with a smile or a look of curiosity, we can't help but marvel over how far we have come. But it also prompts us to ponder, what does it mean to be truly sentient? Amica can simulate emotions and understand spoken language to a degree, but it lacks the self-awareness and genuine emotional depth that define sentient being like data and like humans. Diving into the heart of AI's cap capabilities today, we find ourselves at the edge of a new dawn. This journey isn't just about engineering robots with more bells and whistles. It's about peeling back the layers of what intelligence, consciousness, and what the spark of life really means. It prompts us to dig deeper, questioning not just how we can mold AI to mimic life more closely, but why we are driven to inject machines with the very qualities that make us human. From the data-driven world of Commander Data, to the mechanical eyes of Amica. Our narrative weaves through technological advancement, ethical conundrums, and philosophical reflections. It's a story not just of progress, but of profound reflection on what it means to be human in an era where machines start to mirror us. While Amica might not long for humanity or showcase the depth of character like data, it makes a pivotal step towards a future that once lived only in our imagination. Okay, so let's wind down our adventure from today. From the starry expanse of Star Trek with our friend Data to the real world robotics with Amica. We have navigated through the complex idea of AI sentient, comparing the dreams spun by sci fi to the concrete strides we're making in AI technology. And now, I'm turning the spotlight over to you guys. I'm really curious to hear what you think. Do you reckon we are on the path to creating an AI as sentient as Commander Data in our own lifetime? Why or why not? And should we? As I said, this question is not just about tech pred predictions. It's about opening up a bigger conversation on what the future of AI might look like, the ethical puzzles we will face, and how it all fits into our society. Make sure you drop your thoughts, your feelings, and maybe even some healthy skepticism in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation about the road ahead and how we are shaping it with every step we take. It's obvious that we have made some incredible steps with AI. But as we admire how far we have come, there are still 
so much unknown that is waiting for us, especially when we're talking about creating sentient AI. I personally can't help but feel both excited over the possibilities, but at the same time, I feel a big, big dose of hesitance and want us to really think of all consequences when we move forward. This AI evolution is more than just tech. It's a reflection of our hopes, fears, and the uncharted future we are stepping into together. And if you like today's conversation, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. But more than that, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let's keep this conversation moving forward. And let's make sure that we all have a voice in this development. And with that, I am closing the book on today's episode, but not on the conversation. Keep those gears turning. Stay endlessly curious. And remember, we are all part of sketching out the future. Let's make it a place where we all are excited to be. And as always, stay curious, stay informed, and be a part of the change. Bye.